In this movie, we're going to show how a 3D model, like an STL mesh here, can be added to a relief and then wrapped around a rotary surface. So the first thing we need to do uh, is to define the plate. And um, this is going to represent the material being cut, and we'll kind of base everything else we do off of this. Now for this example, we're going to uh, guess that we're working with a 4-inch diameter part uh, and that it's going to be 36 inches long. So uh, we have 36 inches long for our X. The rotary is going to go along the X axis. The Y axis is 12.5664. And uh, we get that by doing pi times the diameter. So 4 times pi equals 12.5664. And the thickness is 2, half of the diameter of the part. Okay. So now... Uh, we come here and, and uh, by the way, surfacing could be bottom of plate. If you're going to center from the, this, if you're going to surface at the center of the part, it would be bottom of plate. If you're going to surface at the, the outer edge of the diameter, it would be top of plate. All right. So now, uh, uh, and by the way, if you need a calculator, you can come here and uh, go to the scientific calculator to get four times pi and uh, that will give you the 12.5664. Now we're going to uh, take a relief here and let's first of all hit F2, bring up the rotate button and we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees. So that's a counterclockwise direction and uh, that gets us to the proper place. Now, uh, you know, of course we can decide how we wanna do this, but uh, I'm gonna come here and draw a little rectangle here around my part I'm going to take this one and make this a flat no thickness relief with a resolution of a hundred so flat no thickness um, let's take a look at this part and see where it is here from the side it's right on top of the material so I can select both of these and I'm gonna say apply mesh to relief Now uh, I have two layers here. I'm going to take this, hit a control X, and let's paste this to the active layer. So this is uh, giving me just a kind of a regular relief. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come here and go uh, transform. I'm going to extract a slice here of this part. Okay, I'm going to come here and do a little outline of this. First of all, let me say Control C, go to this other layer. Paste to the active layer. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to delete this relief. I'm going to do a little outline here of say oh, one inch looks good. Outline rounded. I did that at one inch there, so we'll say, uh, oh, here, I'm just going to do this one 0.75. I'm going to give me a little bit of a, uh, just a little bit too far. Let's try this one again. I'm going to create a little profile. And this is just a 90 degree positive X, positive Y sweep section. Again, I'll hit F2. Let's make this, uh, let's make it 0.8. Okay, now I'm going to take this little part and I'm going to make this a flat, no thickness relief. Now I'm going to do a chamfer around the edge here with this profile. And I'm going to, I'm going to subtract this so that it will go into the plate. Now I'm going to come here and turn on layer one. And I'm going to merge these two together. So here's going to be my outer layer. I'm going to add this inner eagle that I created onto that outer layer. And now I can see that uh, I have my same shape, but I just kind of applied it there to the outer layer. Now we're going to get kind of close to the center here. So I might even, I might even make that just a little bit thinner. Now let's come here and, uh, that would probably make more sense to do a hatch fill on this. You could still do an island fill if you want. It'll just rotate back and forth. Looks like here's a 0.25 ball, mill, ball end mill. We're going to go to a depth of 0.7. I doubt if we'll reach that. But we'll apply overcut. 
your fill percentage 90. Put in some feeds and speeds and apply the tool pack. Now, because I just just created the relief in this area, it's just going to tool pad this small little area right here. Uh, now I can hit Control, Shift, and X. And you can see that I'm going to actually wrap this part around the, around the uh, axis here. Let's go to a 3D simulation. You can see here on this other side that the 3D is starting to cut. Having a little trouble seeing that, so I'm going to hit done here. Hit F10 to bring up my view setup. And let's go over here. Let's change these two variables. You can now see that this part was cut. It looks like maybe that was a 25 millimeter tool and not a six millimeter tool. So I'm gonna come here again, hit Control Shift X. Let's go to this tool library. Make sure we have the right tool. It looks like I'm using somebody else's tool library here. So we're gonna to go to new, ball nose, 0.25 ball. And um, ball tool point two five. Okay, and I'll give this a little longer cut length here, and now we have the right tool. So we can edit our tool path. Come here and change the tool to the correct tool. Keep everything else the same and you should notice a little tiger cut there. And now we're going to do the same simulation here. Oh, that's the same simulation, but uh, let's hit Control Shift X again. And we can see here that we were able to cut this the 3D cut the part cut into the cut into the rotary here. So that's one way you could take this uh, part and do it. Now this particular piece doesn't on its own look that great in a in a relief. So I'm going to come here and let's let's take this one. I'm going to get rid of that. And this time I have a profile here I've drawn, and I'm going to draw a, a rectangle here that's the same size as as my plate, 36 by 12.5664, and I'll just hit apply, and then hit control five from the number pad to center that. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make this a flat, no thickness relief. Now I'm gonna take this part here and move this right through the top of the material. Make sure it's right at zero. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to, I'm actually just going to get rid of this part. Oh, yeah, that's our relief. We're going to get rid of that. I'm going to come here and uh, do an extrude. Extrude, select the contour to be extruded. And, and I already have this one here, but you could draw any line to extrude down this path. You just want to make sure that the line isn't too thick because uh, it's going to be relative to your, your part diameter here. Uh, contour to be extruded. Next, contour to follow is this path down the center of the part. I want the bottom middle of this profile to go down the middle here and uh, everything else looks good. I'm going to hit add and hit my check mark here. So now I've created a little 
a little profile and this is kind of what it looks like when you when you send a path along here uh, now I'm going to take my other relief and let's see here probably want to be just a little thinner on this all right now I'm going to take my relief which is not a flat relief but a profile that's going to give me a nice spindle like leg and I'm going to select my mesh and I'm going to say apply mesh to relief add body now I'm only going to take a look at my relief layer and actually I'm going to take it out of here control X let's paste it into this layer now and what we should be able to see and we can see this here is that we have incorporated control shift X again we'll put this back to the rotary we've incorporated this eagle into the into the design now now you might have to decide is that the best place to uh, incorporate the eagle I'm going to hit control Z here control shift X so let's do this one again this time I'm going to change the direction of travel here reverse open contour I'm going to make this a flat, no thickness relief. We're going to extrude this profile down the center here. Now we'll just change the direction where the flat area is. Turn on my other layer. Select the mesh. Sure that's still thin there. We're going to hit apply. Now this time before I, I check out my rotary there, I'm going to move this part into the plate. Decide if I uh, think that's too, too thick or not. So then I can come in here and just Size this one a little bit. Make sure all of our snaps are off. And that's how that's how easy it is to control the overall thickness there of the part. I can see my eagle here. I'm going to hit Control Shift F12 again. Control Shift X. Excuse me. And uh, we can see now that this eagle has has been put on the spindled leg. Now this is an STL eagle. And, uh, and it has been incorporated into this other part here, this profile that, that I've made on a relief. So here's, here's another way without just the relief, but adding that, that mesh onto another part that I would be able to uh, create a, a unique part using a, a mesh object and engraving it into a relief using the rotary attachment. So uh, this would be two different examples of doing this. Now, uh, again, Control shift x gets you back to the flat view. I would again need to apply my same toolpath here. I have 90% overlap. My material thickness is 0 0.9051, and I'm not sure that we went uh, quite that deep. But I'm not sure if it would be necessary. We'll, we'll just do a simulation here and see how it looks. Okay, right. We're going to hit Control Shift X again. Go back to our simulation. Start off with our blank here. You can see as it's traveling around, it's removing more and more of the material. And then the end result would be you'd have this this 3D leg spindle with the uh, mesh eagle applied into applied to that surface. So this would all be done using en route software.